Alright, should be live. I'm gonna turn my stream on just a minute early here. Come on, preview, show up. There we go. And it looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute, then we'll get started. Well, last time, let's see, what happened? We were in Two River City, we defeated some giant rat boss, and we're on our way to try and find Ridley, that's right. Alright, so it's... 8 o'clock my time. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll be on for a couple hours again tonight, same as usual. And we'll probably do a lot of recruiting today, actually. We'll be done with this area fairly soon. Well, we made it somehow. Uh, for some reason he always freaks out whatever you say, I don't know why. Oh, wow. So something was going on. The perfect defense. Just say you're new somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty obvious it's a ploy. Wow, that was kind of fruitless. But we gained some levels out of it, that's about the best thing. <laughs> Alright, really not much else we can do. I don't think my rare finds are still going to be here. Well, let's look. Oh, they are. Um, sure, why not? I'll buy one. Not really that big of a deal, but... So, I guess we've got nothing else we can do. Oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, we've been spotted. Great. Anyway, this is Claus. He is the son of Kiba. Um, and they are not to be taken lightly, that's for sure. Well, it kind of looks like something is going on. Yeah, you gotta be careful saying that out loud. Oh, 
Hey, yeah, never know who might be overhearing us somehow. Uh, something tells me he really wasn't risking his life. Well, no allies for us. Oh well. And yeah, we are trapped inside the city. We can't go out. Anyway, um, yeah, he wants Granny or whatever to meet us. And apparently Fitcher took it upon himself to take some, uh, reinforcements on the, on the way. Anyway, you don't have to go talk to the Chaco grandma, granny lady, but, um, yeah, you might as well. Hey, Red Swoon. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we might as well show this off. This is Susu. She's not important enough to have her own portrait, though. Alright, yeah, we're gonna get our stuff back. It's that's not a worry. Yeah, might as well. So apparently uh he was a pretty important person. He's been around like we have. Yeah, we will be going to Tento, and there's not a lot of forests over there, so... Alright, so like I said, you don't have to do this, but... Yeah, you might as well do it. <laughs> yeah, he still doesn't like us for some reason. Alright, well, I think that's pretty much everything we can do. I'm going to check the shops just to make sure I have. Ooh, rare find. Um, yeah, those aren't that great. Nothing special there. Hmm, that's not bad. I have not recruited anyone since I started, uh, Red. Um, once I'm done with this part, I will be doing a bunch of recruiting, though. Oops, this way was the way we want to go. In fact, I bet most of today, um, the couple hours that I'm on, will be recruiting people. Yeah, I bet, because there's one of them's a side quest, which takes a little while. Thank you. 
Alright, well, let's see what happens. I'm sure everything will go okay with the Highland Army. <laughs> Man, who didn't see this one coming? Well, at least he's got some balls. Uh-oh. Hey, um, these guys, you can actually win a item from them, a pretty good armor upgrade, if you want to. It's a rare drop, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, yeah, these guys, they're not very tough. They're the same as they've been. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Now we've got no choice. We better go see if he's going to finally help us. Game is kind enough to teleport us, too. <laughs> Something happened. Hey, they're going to actually fight too. Yeah, the wingers actually show up and help. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I do love me some Ridley though, he is actually pretty badass. That's not a full metal jacket line or anything. Hey, go get him, doggies. Yeah, no fancy boss fight. Pretty standard. You can see yourself now, Kempi. I uh, I put the chat on there to um, see if that to help some people. People who watch in full screen or watch later. 
That way they can see who I'm talking to. Yeah, I don't think a Cabold would like it if you petted him like that. Just a guess. And no rare item drop, that's okay. Not important. I'm assuming we're winning? Now see, I don't understand this. They should be completely surrounded, actually. Because there's an army coming from the south. There's a Kabold village down south. And then our army is coming from the east. They're completely surrounded. Oh well. I like how Claus just stands there. Better let a couple more people die before we run. Yeah, brilliant leader. Alright, well we did it. Two easy battles, that wasn't very hard. Mm. So on G's in a world of pain now. Well, see you later, dude. Oh, hey, there's Joey. I didn't even notice him. <laughs> Did someone call? I I'm not sure what you mean, Kempy. Ah, oh, looks like Joey's gonna take up the reins. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, this Joey. <laughs> Oop. No, oh, apparently we passed out. Good job. All right, so let's get going. Before we head up in there, actually, let's see if I can head over to, uh, the Kabold part of the town now. I don't think they'll have it blocked off now, but... No, I think they do. Yeah, Ryu doesn't even get it. There's um, an item that I want to buy there that'll help me recruit somebody right after this, so that's why I was checking.
Yes, yes, everybody pat themselves on the back. We did a great job. All right. <laughs> See you, Fitcher. And Fitcher joins our group now. He never fights, but, um, you know, he's story important, so. Yeah, I don't want him, trust me. Anyway, we get, do we get teleported back? No, we don't, good. God, Freeville Castle, you get, I can't believe I've named it that. Alright. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Kimpy. It's a very good game. Um, if you haven't, you'll have to check out my streams on it. Good luck on your finals. Anyway, Chaco joins our party, too. Um, for about an hour and a half. I'm only going to be on for a couple hours, so... Alright. And we got our money back that he stole. But not Fitcher's. <laughs> Good luck on your stuff, Kimpy. Alright, so I'm gonna head back inside. I need to, uh... I need to go to the Kabul district. Because there's one more person we can recruit. But to get them, you have to be under a certain status ailment in the game um, called Toasty. No, not Mortal Kombat Toasty, but... Alright, so we want to buy fried tacos. 30%... Alright, let me sell first. Get rid of that. I like being toasty, too. Um, let's see. I don't need the Resurrection Rune. I'm never going to use it. Poison, that can go. I really need to put some of these items in my, uh, the stash. Just get rid of the fried fish balls. Um, yeah, if you sit in the bath but too long. But to get, to get it, you got to recruit the guy, so. So anyway. Bye. We'll just buy four of them. There's also a Unite Attack that will make your characters toasty. But, um, we don't get the character, the second character for it until the next area. So, the fried tacos. It's the earliest way you can get toasty. Now, I'm not exactly sure how they work. But uh, I think that you have to be in battle and you have to have uh, lost hit points for it to work, maybe. Or at least in battle. So we're going to equip some of those. Thunder Runner, don't care. Oh, she has nothing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna stick around here and get try and get into a battle.
if I can get into any battles. Holy crap. I would just auto this first one. Oh god, I might kill them. No, they're supposed to hit me. There we go. Alright, so let's see. Taco! Stop killing people, Nanami! And nobody got toasty. Tacos do sound pretty good. And nobody got toasted, alright. It's only a 30% chance, so it's not like it's great. Alright, let's try that again. I would assume with about the 16 that I bought, that should be enough to uh, become toasty. Uh, I'm just going to kill these ones. If they hit me, they hit me. Fight a battle with more of them. There we go. There we go, we got toasty. Yeah, it's a, a little bit slower than normal. That's okay. Alright, let's just let go. So anyway, now we're toasted. Usually I've noticed on Mondays it's a little bit, not as many people watch. Of course we like him. Plus it is finals week too, so... Not that I have to worry about that anymore, but uh... I know that's probably a problem for most a lot of people. Alright, so actually, that should have given us a level 2 castle. Let's see, I might not work right yet, but there's this guy over here. Okay, yeah, it d didn't work yet. Do <laughs> you have final to worry about to Alistor? Alright, let's head back to the castle. Now, that should have actually upgraded our castle to uh, level 2. Will but tell? Mm, maybe it didn't. Or it might be right after this. Well, good luck on yours, definitely. Um, what's your major? Go ahead and save.
from my stream. I appreciate you watching. <laughs> I think your education is important. Yeah, Pilika's not going to be uh, talking for a long time. Oh, <laughs> Computer science. Uh, I knew a number of people who were in that. But yeah, okay, now our castle is upgraded. Now it looks different. Mine was accounting, so largely different. Alright, so let's see. Hmm. What will be the easiest way? Okay, well, there's somebody we can recruit actually in our castle. So if we come over here, let's see, this way I think? Nope, that goes outside. There's the bath there, which we can take a bath at. Ah, here we go. If we can head in here, which we can never get into before, here is Hi-Yo. <laughs> Interesting name. You can recruit him once your castle reaches level 2. Which if you've been, if you know, if you like following along with me, it is now level 2. Oh yeah, let's recruit him. And now let's watch our labor union union in work. From that to perfect. Wow. Anyway, he's a place where you can give the recipes that you have. He'll take your recipes and if you have other um, items you can make a menu and you can buy the items from him. Like the fried tacos, so let's just, we already have some basic ingredients since we got him. That's all we got. So that'll be our menu. You can actually make money doing it too, but you won't make hardly anything, so. Alright, so that's him. Alright, so now there are some places that we can go. Okay, let's... But we require some people to be in our party, so we're going to do that next. So let's see, we want to go down to the first floor. Alright, so... To bring along, um, I'm actually going to bring Flick and uh, Victor just because it's not really going to matter for them. But we do need to bring Gingen, actually. And we need to bring Chaco the Taco. That is a requirement. And actually, surprisingly, Hi-Yo can be really, really powerful. Um, that's weird to hear, but yeah. Oh, I, I don't have Minecraft, but I'm really terrible at those games. Plus, I don't have the patience for it, but I bet somebody has. And who else to bring along? Um, doesn't really matter who I bring. We'll bring Ellie, Eilie. Get up in the front row, Ginkin. Alright, so... 
just checking who I need. Okay. So we're going to go back towards Two River City. Um, we're going to visit the Kabold Village there. And the Kabold District. Um, show off some of those. Because there's some more people we can actually recruit now that we have a level 2 castle. So I am at, let's see, it's 8.35 my time. A group of the two of these people are going to be recruiting. Um, it's going to take it a little while, actually. So I imagine I I could sp well probably not that long actually, but I could end up spending a little bit of time there doing this next part. All right, so here there is somebody that I can recruit. And I'm going to save my game here. Yeah, I'll talk to them in a second. If you played the first game, you know who they are. Anyway, if you have a level 2 castle now, you can talk to this guy, Shiloh. And yeah. <sighs> we have to play my favorite game again. Yes, I know, Chin Chin are on. Same thing as Taiho, 5,000 potch. It's exactly the same. So I'll bet half of it. Trip ones. Oh, thank God, two, three, four is nothing for them. Oh, no score. All I need is anything. <laughs> All right, so we tied. Well, as long as I don't lose like 20,000 potch, I'll be good. A two, that's fine, that's manageable. And a three, all right. Halfway home. <laughs> all right. Well, eh, four, that's not bad. Ha! Ah, three of a kind! Yes! Finally! Made a little bit of money, too. Yeah. I'm still down about... Yeah, I'm still down probably about 10k or so potch in total, but... Anyway... Back at the castle, you can actually play Chinchineron with them if you want to. And if you played the first game, this is Tengar and Hicks from the Warriors Village. I do like them too. They're pretty nice. They're pretty cool. Actually, Tengar is a really good magic user too, so. She can be pretty good to bring along. <laughs> uh, let's not call her cute. So yeah, if you remember the first game, they have to prove themselves as warriors. Apparently helping to slay a, a vampire wasn't good enough. So they are here doing something. Anyway, this is the first step we need to do um, towards their side quest to recruit them. They have it pretty long. <laughs> they do have a different quest, that's for sure. I usually wait until later to do this, but um, I might as well do it while I can now. It's, no, it's really not that big of a deal, but um, before we go to them, we want to go over here. There's a couple people we can recruit in Two River City now. So 
So the first place we want to go is to... Actually, we want to go back underground. We don't have to go very far, but... For this, you do need Chaco in your party. I would like to get into a battle or two level up fucking Victor. Poor Gingen. I, I neglect him in every game. <laughs> Alright, so if we go over here where I didn't show off, normally this would be empty. Yeah, this creeps me out too. But if you have a level 2 castle and Chaco in your party, Sid shows up. Uh, Sid was talked about by Granny, the one in red. But yeah, this guy really creeps me out. <laughs> I think Sid is actually another one of the characters that can have three rune slots open, but I think he doesn't get it till like level 60 or so, which is pretty high in this game. I don't even want to think of why why Sid acts this way. It's so weird. Anyway, yeah, Sid's going to join us, so... That's all you got to do, just level 2 castle and bring Chaco with you. Alright, that's all you got to do. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Nothing else you can do here. Alright, so let's see, that takes care of him. There's one other person we can recruit. I forgot to, uh, Chaco's actually not a bad, uh, they can use the winged ornament, it's pretty awesome though, 12 speed, yeah, he comes with a karate uniform, not bad. Only problem is, really though, in game, yeah, the speed's nice, but you'd rather have more strength, generally, if just doing more damage. Alright, so let's head back over to the Kabul district. I don't remember which house it is. Ah, here we go. Now if you have Gingen in your party... Gabucha is here. I don't think... 
I don't even remember if you can use them in battle or not. You probably can, but I don't think I've ever used them. Yeah, Gabocha joins our party. Who didn't see that coming? Alright, so that takes care of Gabocha. That's really easy. So now let's head south. We're going to head to the Kabold village that they talked about. And we're going to start working on that side quest. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever used Gabocha. And the only reason I have Gengen is because I'm forced to use him. <laughs> Alright, this is... Well, yeah, this is Kabold Village. Poor Hicks. Alright, let's go see what they're talking about. Wow, they really explain that fast. <laughs> uh, Rosie, maybe? Maybe that's what you call your sword? So this is Test of the Unicorn, and they're apparently trying to find a unicorn place or something, I don't know. And we get lumped with them. This kind of reminds me of the Suikoden one in the very beginning. She definitely does. Gee, I wonder what happened. <laughs> I 
this is probably the longest recruiting uh, session for any character in the game. Yeah, I don't think this is any sort of ruse. And Hicks is gonna, just going to go along with it. So, guess what? We're going to have to do it. Blue stone, red flower, and green bell. Bring it to the unicorn's tree. All the way in south window. <laughs> yeah, best not to question it. And Hicks is going to drag us out. But he does join our party. Ah, uh, goodbye, Gingen. The exertion rune that Hicks has on his weapon is actually kind of interesting. The longer you're in, um... <laughs> poor Gingen. The longer you're in battle, the more it increases your damage. Um, but it takes usually like four rounds or so before it maxes out the damage. So by that point, it's usually the battle's already over. So it's not really the greatest. Yeah, send a text really fast. Alright, good to go. So we need to head to South Window. I usually wait till later when you get the uh, blinking mirror, just like you do in um, the first game. That way you can just teleport back to town and stuff. But, um, that's mainly because I'm lazy, but it's really not that bad just to do this now. And yeah, you can see our castle looks different on the world map. I like that. The third game, you never saw your castle on the world map. Um, I don't know about the fourth one. And I'm not that far in the fifth one, so... And then there's Gabocha. Anyway, I uh, might as well show this while I'm here. But, um, yeah, the shops are going to open over here. So we have our armor shop that we can visit now. Which he'll have all the armor that we can see, that we've seen, so. Um, so far, yeah, it seems pretty good. From my understanding, um, at least from reviews, it's definitely pretty well received, you know. It's much better than the fourth one. Um, there, there are def definitely differences, but um, I, have, I, wasn't, I haven't been disappointed with it. Oh, hey, look, a kobold. It can be a little bit harder to find. I got mine for like $20 from a local store. So yeah, this isn't very exciting or hard fetch quest, but... Yeah, there's um... Some local... I have uh, a... There's a couple uh, shop that's... Sells uh, older stuff, you know, from like Atari to newer stuff. Um, 
there's only a few of them around here, and I ended up finding it there, and they, like I said, I think they sold it for like about $20, maybe 25 and that was last winter, I want to say, probably been about 10 months, I just have, I haven't finished the game, I need to do that. Alright, so we're going to head back to Kabold Village, and then we're going to go on another wild goose hunt. Another reason why I kind of want to do this now is I need to let go of battle, more uh, battles. And I probably don't have the required amount because um, we can recruit somebody and it requires you to have run from a certain amount of battles. And I don't think I've done that amount yet. I think it's 50 battles, so... <laughs> yeah, now we gotta go to the Cave of the Wind, so... Yeah, if you say she sneezed, it doesn't matter. Hicks just drags you out like before. Hello! Panda murderer! <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. No, oh, I can't let go from this one. <laughs> Apparently they can suck you into their nose. I'm assuming that's their mouth though, actually. That's kind of disturbing. So we're going to head to the Cave of the Wind um, for the side quest for Hicks and Tengar. That's another reason why I wanted just to get it out of the way today. It's simply because it takes so long. I just want to get it done. It's certainly something if you were speedrunning this game you would not do, that's for sure. Thankfully the third item though is in Two River City, I think. So we don't really have to go very far when we go there. Or once we get the, you know, Hey, this is where the third item is. Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain since I I'm pretty far into it. Basically, if you want a very quick rundown, there are two opposing forces. Well, uh, um, I kind of guess that makes sense. Uh, there's the Highland Army, the Highland States, which you actually were a citizen of. You were in the... Um, this army called the Youth Brigade, because, well, you're a kid, basically. And this is the city-states of Jouston, what's called. And in the beginning of the game, um, the Highland Army, they slaughtered their own Youth Brigade to make it look like 
that they were attacked by the city-states. So the prince called Luca Blight, which is a really insane guy, he would have a reason to invade, so the people would want it. Um, and basically what the kind of the gist of this game is, you get your own, usually your own army, your own castle at some point. <laughs> yeah. Since I'm pretty far, you know, it would be hard to explain it, but the main mechanics of the game is you get your own castle. There are always 108 people you can recruit in the game. And, um... And that gives you like an army, and there are like army battles, duels, and then regular battles. So what I'm doing right, so what I'm doing right now is, um, I just finished a story segment. So I'm, yeah. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm going on a recruiting sp a spree of people who you can recruit in the game um, for this certain area. It's certainly not a requirement to recruit everybody in the game, but if you do recruit um, 108 people, you'll get the best ending. <laughs> uh, not th no, not really. There, there's not really anything like that. And also, hello, Capricious. And hello, also, Jetto. I forgot to say hi to you, too. 5 equals 3 is greater than 4 is greater than 2 is greater than 1. Are you saying your favorites? Of the Suikoden game since there's 5 of them? <laughs> anyway, yeah, she's still... she was out of bed. Anyway, so yeah, we don't need to go far for this last one. Alright, well thanks, Panda. Um, I'm usually on every couple days or so. Three to five times a week, so... Have a good night. Alright, so let's go get this last item and we'll be just about done with this side quest. Flick is definitely awesome. I love him. Blue Lightning Flick. He's definitely one of my favorite characters between the first two games. The poor, the poor guy can never catch a break, though. Alright, so we just gotta head back under the sewers. Um, Joey is right now in, uh, well, he was taking the, the troops to attack Muse, uh, or not Muse, um, Green Hill, that's right. He was taking 5,000 5, soldiers and the, um, the refugees, I believe. Um, no. No, not since... We haven't we we haven't run into him since um, Muse when he went when he attacked everybody. Well, when he let the people in, so that was the last time we've seen him. At least with our character, we won't we won't confront him for uh, till the next story segment. Ow. Yeah, Flick's not bad with magic either. That's good enough. Don't need to worry about being healed. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, we know now. Because we, we've seen about, you know, what he's doing, so... Oh, my chat. There we go. Um, no, the Nestlord stuff won't be for a while. We won't see him for... God, until we're probably in our mid-40s for levels. I have about... I'm about 10 hours into the game right now, Jetto. Um, not too far. I mean, I'm only... I'm level 32, so... But I've been doing uh, character recruiting for about 40 minutes right now. Simply because it takes this the side quest takes forever. <laughs> I just barely saved him. Uh, no, I'm playing. I do I do own it on the PS1, but I don't have um, a capture card for capturing consoles, so I'm playing on an emulator right now. I do own it, but I yeah I can't. I, I wouldn't be able to stream it on the PS1. Probably should actually heal just in case. Yeah. I would like to get a pretty decent capture card at some point. Uh, like a, a decent quality one, so I'd have to spend a little bit of money on it. Oops, did not mean to do that. That way I would be able to stream my console games that I do have. Because I have, like... Well, I have a lot of consoles. I have, you know, original Nintendo, a second model, a top loader, uh, Super Nintendo. Well, I have all the Nintendos, but not the Wii. Um, you know, I have PS2, 360, uh, Dreamcast, Sega Genesis. Is there anything else? So, I have a lot of consoles. <laughs> so, I, that would definitely give me a lot of, lot more options, too. Alright, I'm gonna rest really fast. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Jetto. Good luck on your finals. I'm assuming that's what it's for. Yeah, I'm happy I don't have to deal with that anymore. And surprise, surprise, Tengar is not here. Okay then. Alright, so we can go in the forest, and actually there is an item that I want to grind and that um, I do want to get. It's the last rune that I want to get um, for my big three runes for my melee people. Um, you can get it from Eaglemen here, I believe that they're called. So I'm going to spend some time, I'm going to try and, try and get that from them. Hopefully I'll get a little bit lucky. These guys, yeah. And they hurt a little bit, too. The Double Strike Rune, I believe, is, it, is the name of it. It uh, increases damage you do, but you also take more damage, but that's not a big deal. So yeah, I think that's what I want. Um, I should have brought an enemy with me. That's eh, okay. I would like to get two of them. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, Flick and Victor, they can use a Unite attack, so let's show that off. I think they'll carry them out of battle, do they, when they do that? I can't remember. 
Good job, Chaco. You're doing great. Yeah, they, ha they have a... That's what they can drop, the double strike. and That's the other one that I want, so... And we get a little bit of experience for our people, so... Oh. I thought we were going to get it, but we got a sandwich, apparently. I'm going to look just to make sure that's what it is. Double strike... Rune... Yeah, you can get it from the Eagle Men, 2% chance here in uh, the Cobalt Forest. There is a chest for it later, but it's pretty far later, so... How I Met Your Mother, is that what you're talking about? I, I don't watch... I've never watched it. which could probably be blasphemy to some people. Let's uh, use our Shining Light attack. See if I can't take them out. Hmm, not quite. Yep, that takes them out of battle. Oh, d okay, well, that, that would definitely be that, then. Uh, those eagle guys are doing a lot of damage, holy crap. These guys are pretty interesting. Yeah, they can attack rows of people. And your back row, too. I, uh... I, I forgot I was going to be doing grinding, so I didn't bring her. <laughs> I didn't... I completely forgot about this area until uh, just a little bit ago. That's okay, though. <laughs> I'll probably spend about 15 more minutes on this. If I get lucky, I get lucky. If not, I'll come back another time. Would be nice to get at least one. Yeah, that's probably my idea. That's probably my thought. Most people are probably studying on their uh, for their finals and stuff like that. Probably why it's a little bit slower this Monday. Probably be a little bit uh, slower this whole week too. I think those mirages actually have a pretty good drop, too. Like a fire emblem or something? Yeah, they do a pretty good job with that. 
You can definitely feel the oomph behind a lot of them. Or like when they slash out their swords like that, those guys. That's pretty cool. Still no dice. And I keep running into these guys too. Yeah, no more eagle men. Holy crap. Killed off the whole population, apparently. Ah, here we go. Ooh, a big battle, too. I should actually probably heal, because my front row guys are a little bit... a little bit of pain. No! Jesus. That's annoying as all hell. Oh, recipe number 12. Um... There is a bug with that recipe in another one, where if you turn this recipe in, be, um, it will prevent another recipe from dropping. So what you have to do is get both recipes and then turn them in at the same time. Otherwise, um, it'll be gone. You can't, you can't get both of them. Yeah, there's a bug in the game of how it works. Apparently they share like the same data slot or... God. Or something. I'm gonna... Look at something really quick. I'm looking up a guide on these eagle men. Okay. Yep. What's kind of funny, though, is I just looked it up. Their drop rates, that sandwich that they drop, has the same drop rate as the uh, double strike rune that I'm trying to get. So they could have dropped that already. But they didn't. Alright, I'll do about 10 more minutes of this. If I get it, I get it. If not, I'll try and come back later. Oh, somebody's going bye-bye. See you, Hicks. Still nothing. Now, I don't know how it works in this game. I don't know if each individual Eagle Man that we fight when we're in a battle has a 2% drop rate, or if it's just like the combination of all those Eagle Men, like, like when the game decides to drop an item, they say, okay, you fought a combination of Eagle Men in there, so they have a 2% drop rate. I don't know how it works. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. I would like to get one before I stop, but if I don't, that's okay. And there goes Flick. That is really annoying. I don't think there are any other enemies that really do that in the game. At least not off the top of my head. Even Oh, well, this is a pretty good game. Well, and also, hello, Cendric. Um, well, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to grind a couple rare drops, so this is not the most exciting portion of the game. <laughs> but, um... It's a really good game. I, I consider it one of the top RPGs, so if you're an RPG fan, it's... Yeah. I, I'm very anti-grind when I uh, stream, or when I play anything, simply because I know not a lot of people like it. And I don't like it. I don't like grinding. But, um... The, what I'm going for is worth it. Um, are you familiar? Yeah, is, are you familiar with the Suikoden games themselves or any of them? Because... Uh, the five games in the main series, they're all in like the same un like same world, so it can be pretty cool. <laughs> right, okay. What's pretty cool is there are actually like three main forms of like uh, the gameplay. There is what you see now, which is the basic, which is the basic battle system. You know, your standard RPG kind of stuff. But there's there are runes, which are your magic, which is like what I'm casting now here. Different levels of magic. Oops, I want to use this one. Um, then there are also enhancement runes that enhance your characters, which is what I'm trying to grind. I'm trying to get one that increases my damage. And there are also other things like unite attacks that you can combine with characters, things like that. And goodbye Flick, again. Goodbye Chaco. Oh, I missed. But there are also two other main forms of battles in this game. What, what the whole series is kind of about is, uh, is around large armies. Yeah. And what you do is each game you can recruit up to 108 party members in your castle. Or equivalent. And what that does is that gives you your army. Because then there are also like war battles which are usually more strategic battles. Um... I mean, it's it's like a, this one has a diff. Each one has a different style of war, how it works. This one is kind of like a grid-based system with um, num with being more math like more number-based. Like this unit has 13 attack and 10 defense going against this unit that has 
six attacks and, and six defense, so the six attack and six defense is kind of screwed. But not, not necessarily. So there's sometimes there's elements of luck. And then there are also duels, which are always story related, which it'll be your main character versus um, whoever you're fighting in a duel. And inside the duel, then there are like three attack choices. It's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. The computer who you're dueling, they will say something which will kind of indicate what they're going to pick. And then you pick the appropriate response. So it's... And this game has... This is probably most people's favorite of the whole series, so we get into. 